Greetings, lords and ladies, and welcome back once again for more Dragon Age Origins. Last time we chatted with everybody and got caught up, and uh, Liliana <laughs> confessed her love for me and then got pissed off when I was apparently two timing her, which I wasn't. Uh, I actually found out that that was a bug. Um, prob a pretty well known bug, too, that I should have looked up beforehand, but I didn't. But it shouldn't affect anything too heavily. Um, everything is all good. Everyone loves each other still, so we're fine. But uh, for now, I think it's time to stop talking and go kill some things. Indeed. Death to squishy things. Yes. And uh, we have a couple places we can go. We can go to this battlefield and we can go to the caravan. And uh, we're going to knock those out and then turn whatever we can in to get more money. We'll probably make a pit stop at Denerim just to... Uh, uh, um, I think there's uh, some people we need to see over there, some side quests to do as well. And then I think we'll head to Haven after that and uh, go see what's up with those guys. For now, let's head to this caravan and do some damage. Oh, random encounter. Ah, a trickster Wim. Is his name Wim? That's odd. Okay. Um, but he already looks hostile to me. And he's surrounded by bloody corpses. Awesome. Alright, we'll shale. Move up. Get into position. Just as I thought. Alright, do that thing. And Morgan cast a uh, crushing prison on this guy Hurry. okay and go ahead and paralyze that guy he's paralyzed okay and then let's put oh is he a mage can't tell I'm gonna put him in a force field and you just stay there sir and I'm gonna move out of that what does that glyph thing do Ash, are you in a glyph? What is this? Upset balance? No, that's just a debuff. All right. Who else do we got? And we got this guy as well. Morgan, go ahead and take care of this jerk. Yeah. No problem. I kind of fiddled with their tactics a little bit once more. Uh, since I gained some level ups and such. And um, I'm able to use a lot more abilities. I have them set up to use a lot more abilities than they were before. Um, oh, he healed himself. Previously, they didn't have uh, a lot of tactic slots to work with, or a lot of stamina to use a lot of stuff, but um, things are getting. Oh, hello. Apparently, he's not dead. We well, are now. <laughs> that guy was uh, fairly tough. I guess he was like a mage that split himself into a whole bunch of stuff. Choking powder trap. Well, I never use those. Mages war boots. Ooh. Those are those are good boots. Good boots. Take them all. Let's check that out. Morgan. Yeah, 12 defense. All right, so I don't want do I want 12 defense or 10% chance to dodge attacks? Um 12 defense is quite a bit. Um defense Yeah. I mean, that's what governs her ability to dodge attacks, is this thing. Plus, it's got more armor. Yeah, why not? Doing it. So now she should be up to 63, yeah. Alright, well, cool. Let's loot the bodies. Bloody corpse. So Give me some good stuff. Deep mushroom. That's only kind of good. Any other things? No? Some death root. Might as well loot it. Since I can't come back to these places. Okay. Well, that's that. And it looks like Shale gained a level. Alright. Congratulations, Shale. What does Shale need? He gets beat on quite a bit. Um. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how much dexterity he needs. I think he his dexterity drops to zero when he's in stone aura, but... Well, let's check that out. What is he at right now? Dexterity is at 13. Uh, do, 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 do. And I think Stone Aura... He's paralyzed, so penalty to defense. So, what? Uh, yeah. So his defense drops to zero. 
So, um, there's no sense in increasing his dexterity at all. So I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, if I wasn't going to use his dexterity, or use stone aura that much, I might uh, boost it up. But I think for now we'll, um, we'll keep him with uh, getting constitution. Uh, I do want to get him with some cunning, but not much. 16 is max that I want to get him with. And, oh, I do need dexterity to get disengage, which I need for perfect striking. But eh, I'm probably never going to use them. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that either. I'll give him stone heart. Yeah, we'll do stone heart first. Okay, and you can turn that off. Thanks. And I actually should check the dog, because I can never see. Yeah, he has level up as well. So let's level him up. He could probably use some more dexterity and some more strength. And we're getting him charge. Huzzah. Alright, moving forward. Alright, and we still haven't made it to the caravan. That was just a little random encounter along the way. Oh boy, look at this place. Oh, we have Darkspawn. All right, how do we get down? I guess over there. All right, um, and there's a Genlock Alpha and an Emissary. I'm probably gonna wanna kill that em. Oh, there's two Emissaries. I'm gonna wanna get rid of them quick. All right, Shale, let's get you over here. And into battle. Okay, do that thing. And you there. Put a crushing prison on. All right, cool. And she's gonna deal, try and deal with this guy, the the emissary in the back there. Can I paralyze him? I can paralyze him. Huzzah! And keep at it. Let's give these guys a stun there. Alright, good to go. Let's concentrate all firepower on that Genlock Alpha. Where's Liliana? She's back there. Yeah, Ash is turning into an amazing tank. They're not moving from him at all. Nice. Well, that went well. Okay, cool. So we took care of these uh, darkspawn that were blocking the roads. A sapphire, ooh, pretty. I'll take it. And some broken crates. All right, get all the shinies. Iron ring we can sell. Genlock emissary. Have a cool staff or something, would you? No, fine, whatever. Elf roots. You need so much money in this game to get all the the really good stuff, you know. So be it. Deep mushroom. I suppose you don't need it, but it does certainly help early on. Alright, there's just death root up there. I don't I don't even feel like going up that that hill to go get it. Okay, so that was that. Let's head to battlefield. I like how um it doesn't just go in a straight line, like it actually goes around the, the topography and the uh, the roads and stuff. Like it's gotta go all the way through Denerum and down through here and yeah. Oh, what's this? Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! What are we fighting? <gasps> are these darkspawn? I can't tell from here. It looks like they are. Probably. Well, it looks like we have the help of some mages. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, Shale, steep up the hell out of these. Look at this army. This is a perfect time for a fireball. Ready? Fireball! Yeah! And this guy's closing in, so let's put him in the crushing prison. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we got those mages up top helping us out, too. This is a massacre. Oh, there's a tempest. And it looks like those mages are in trouble. Super can't help. Oh no, help the mages. Alright, 
saved one of them. If there are more, I think they died. Oh, there's still more. Got it. That was pretty awesome. But I think those mages ate it. Yeah, it's a shame. There's just the one mage left. We can take the stuff. Oh, only one of the mages ate it. Alright, let's talk to him. I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. Yeah. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. One more of those guys. Hells yeah. Alright, cool. So the mages are already already paying dividends. I'm glad we saved them. As you wish. And the first enchanter is, is behind me 100 percent So that mm. is great. Uh, anything else? Uh, do 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 that's what you say when you have nothing to say. Okay. Moving on. That was cool. Alright, so I think we need to head to Denerim next I and finish up a few of those quests. Oh, I'm that was just a random encounter, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was so excited. Alright, what's that? Ooh, this is another nasty place. Let's go ahead and save it. Just in case. You never know. You never know. I'm going to move in with Shale just because I know there's going to be some nasty going in. And I'm going to want to put him in the right spot. Ooh, diary. This sol this is a soldier's diary. His last entries relate their desperate efforts to run from the Darkspawn army. Every trick they used to evade pursuit failed. His last words, growls everywhere, no time. Poor guy. Yeah, these Darkspawn, this is just the devastation after the uh, battle's over. Oh, no, apparently not. Uh... Oh, well, scavengers. There's some wolves out there. They're behind us, too. Alright, well, let's try and bring them to me. And, Morgan, you know what to do. I'm, I'm actually I'm not going to use uh, my strongest attacks. Because these are just wolves. And there's more coming in anyway. I'm going to put pressure on him. I'll wait till they come in. Let's fight this guy. If it seems like I favor Morgan, um, it's not so much her as just mages in general are awesome. They have so many cool tricks, tactics that you can use with them. Um, having a great tank is really, really handy. But they're not all that interesting to play in this game. Because really, it's just a matter of using whatever abilities you have until you run out of them. But the mages, like, you can really customize um, the different abilities they have. And, um, so that really makes a difference in what their utility is. Just my opinion. I think that the mages probably got a, a little bit of a... A little bit more love than the other classes did. Although, I, you could argue that the, the rogue class is really so be it. fleshed out. I think the warrior class gets the short end for a lot of things, but... I mean, it's still fun to play, and it does work. I mean, it's not like it's ineffective. It's just very simple. Oh, we got more. But they're coming in. There's a bunch of these things. Oh, wow. That was a strong hit. Go ahead and paralyze that one. These seem like larger wolves, don't they? Yeah, I would be I would be more upset about the imbalance if uh, warriors were just like not useful, but clearly they are. They're just not very interesting. No offense to warriors. All right, we got stuff and things happening. Got lots of stuns happening as well. Get that taunt off. Nice. Shale said something, but I couldn't hear it. Over how awesome I am. I see. All these wolf pelts. Sell them for a few silver each, so that's good. That is good indeed. Alright. Let's finally loot the sack. Leather gloves, yay. Big freaking deal. And uh, anything else? More sacks. I'll tell you what. The sack is nice. 
As you wish. Small wood, small shield, white wood. Ice arrows. Okay, that's good, I guess. Can add that to my quiver. Bloody corpse. No big deal there. Okay, more of them. Where are they this time? Oh, it's a bear. Okay, Shale, you can stop that because I'm all the way over here now. Guys, fight the darn bear. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, they all ran back to me. Isn't that nice? Oh, jeez. I had enough time to get Crushing Prison set back up. Ay, Dios mio. You... You poor unfortunate souls. What is that? Did I cast that? I don't know what's happening to that. Alright. This bear cannot even damage Ash. He has so much dodge and so much dexterity. He's barely doing anything. Yay! I am a Grey Warden, the slaughterer of animals. Jmail. Wow, Liliana was fighting from all the way back there. That's incredible. Some range on that bow. So be it. Okay, I think that hopefully that's it. Jeez. Ain't that enough? For crying out loud. And more crappy stuff. Getting up to verid viridium materials pretty frequently now. Which is good. I just need some good magic items. That would be nice. Okay, so that is done. So let's head to Denerum and uh, take care of that nonsense. I think after we take care of whatever's going on in Haven, we'll do one of the DLC things. Probably the Return to Ostagar one, but we'll get to that later on. Alright, so we're in Denerum. Message for you, my lord. What? Uh, what? Huh? Good. More things to deliver. Goodbye. <laughs> the trial of crows. Hmm. Could it be the Antiven crows? Since those are the only crows I know about. All right, and that door is closed to us now, but that's because we're done there. Okay, so. I have this to turn in. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Yep, that's me. Blessed am I. And no more quests there. Okay. So I need to visit a guy. Let's go ahead and check this out. Not completed. Um, Denerum. Trial of Crows. A delivery boy has given you a cryptic message saying that if you're interested in working with the Antivan Crows, that you should head to one of the back rooms of the Nod Noble Tavern. Hmm. Working with the Antivan Crows. I was under the impression they probably wouldn't like me very much. Okay. Uh, waiting in the market district. I've acquired a small painted box that is requested by friends of Red Jenny. The reward, whatever it is, is waiting off the market district in Denerim. Okay. So I'm in the market district. We'll take care of that. Uh, do do do. Robbed by foreigners. I'm looking for a sextant and missing action. I believe uh, there's some. Um, other mage related quests to do here as well so we got our work cut out for us and dwarven craft find dwarven craft nothing here you won't find better. okay let's head to the nod dwarven noble tavern craft. that's Jenna TV's home we've already been there a mysterious door let's check it out the mysterious door Yes. Door cracks in response to your knock. There's a light breeze, like a change in pressure. I'm looking for Red Jenny. Door closes curtly. Okay, apparently that was the wrong answer. Present the small painted box. A large shadow nods, a pouch of coins appears in exchange. Continue. The door closes. Oh. Yeah. Three gold for handing in that painted box thing. No idea what it did, but it's done. Who cares? Three gold is three gold. I've got more important things to worry about. 
Okay, in the Nod Noble Tavern. We need to go into uh, one of these back rooms. It's this one, I guess. Master Ignacio. You hear about the note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. You are of great interest to me. So you're the ones trying to kill me. Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So one of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do their job or die trying, but the crows as a whole have no bias. <laughs> no words. Draw steel and fight. Nah. But you were hired to kill me. I can't stress enough that I wasn't hired to do anything. An associate was, and he's failed. And failed badly. A client can always hire more help. If the job isn't done the first time. But I am hoping we can make sure that doesn't happen. I'm listening. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. Hmm. Go on. It takes time to do a good job. Pride in your work and all. But customers have expectations. Not many people to turn to if you're short-staffed in some lines of work. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived, well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. You're, ta you're tragically mistaken if you think I'm an assassin. I... Uh, <clears throat> see. Uh, then we are wasting time. No offense meant. Talk to Caesar back at our stall if you want to buy something. No hard feelings, right? Okay. So, that um, would have been a line of quest to um, assassinate various targets, except that I'm not an assassin. <laughs> and I don't assassinate random targets. I have a job to do. And uh, I seriously doubt that killing a bunch of people randomly for some assassin guild is going to help me do that. Unless they're willing to go fight the Darkspawn with me. But for, for whatever reason, I find that unlikely. So, um, do I have anything to what turn What can I get you, you stranger? Uh, do, do, do. Any... Does he need any help? Um, I've already accepted all of these. Okay. Alright, so that's fine. And yeah, I could do them anyway and get uh, and get the money and, you know... It'd probably be beneficial to my to you know the game for me to do that, but you know it's not really part of Ash's character, if you ask me. He's no assassin. Let's talk to Welcome the shopkeeper to the here. Thedas. Browses wares. Okay. Um, anything I want here? I probably would want that Ring of Ages eventually, but it's so expensive. I can sell this iron ring. Reinforced leather gloves. I'll keep the weavers for now. Red stick chainmail, white wood uh, shield. Do, 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 do. Dagger, axe. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I can probably sell these as well. I highly doubt I'll use them. And I don't need chipped fire crystals. And I don't know if I need this either. I mean, I really don't. Well, I definitely don't need that one. I kind of like the one he's wearing anyway. And uh, let's sell all this junk. Um, Star Sapphire, Malachite, Greenstone. And I have a whole bunch of wolf pelts, don't I? Where'd they go? Oh, they're there. And I made some silver. Groovy. Okay. 
little detour there. Apologize. Okay, so let us head. Um, well, there were there were other parts of Denerum I needed to get to, and I think I can talk to these uh, these couriers now. Where are they? Or the yeah, the hooded courier. My client appreciates your generosity. Yeah, I need to grease some palms, so let me get that knocked out. We're not here to get busy or wasted. We're here to talk to hooded couriers. Tell your captain that our deal is now ironclad. Wow, that's that's serious business right there. And yes, one more hooded courier. Our continued friendship is guaranteed. Well, that's good to know. And another hooded courier. With this, you seal your guild success. Certainly do. I don't know what guild I'm a part of, but okay. Okay, so with all that nonsense taken care of, let's go ahead and head to the village of Haven and move this along. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, random encounter. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at all these jerks. Just ambushed by uh, Darkspawn off on the road. Well, we know how to we know what to do with dirty, dirty Darkspawn, don't we? Emissary, okay. Morgan, go ahead and crush and prison that guy. Um, let's uh who shall we? I bet you that'll do for now. Alright, right, go. Why didn't you do it? I must have pressed the button. Okay, look at all these traps. Oh boy. That's no good. Okay, um. Work on this guy. Lots of traps detected. Paralyze this guy back here. Standing right next to the one. How did I get into this field of traps in the first place? Let's give a. Force field. And we'll do a stun on these guys. Alright, they're all stunned. Good. Alright, they broke free. And they can do nothing. No problem. And just that uh, little gen lock in the back, the dog is killing. Now we get our hands dirty. Any more? Any more? Right ahead. A lot of traps. Okay, Liliana, disarm. Everyone just um, hold your position, please. Right away. So you don't step in traps. I'll do it. It's 30 experience each. There's at least ten of them. That's like a whole quest worth of traps. Boy, I'm gonna hear that noise in my head. Get all these two. It's worth it. It's all experience and such. Actually, I think I have what a macro set up with her to do that on her own. Oh yeah, she'll just do that on her own. Well, that's handy. Go ahead. Very well. Any trap you see? Loris bar. I didn't tell you to take a health poultice, you dork. Emissary. Some death roots. And you are done with that one. And it looks like we are done. Oh, I told her to hold position, that's why. Okay, we can all move freely now. Alright. Well, that's done. I do enjoy those little random battles. You never know what's gonna come up. We're just gonna leave Shale there for another 30 years until someone else finds him. Along the roadside. Pigeon droppings all over him. No, no, that's mean. All right, so here we are at the city of Haven. 
I don't know what to expect, but clearly it's overcast here, so it must be evil. There's a guard. Hello, guard. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. Mm -mm. So this is Haven. What do you want? Uh, is there Brother Genetivi here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. You do not question and therefore are stupid. What else you got? Are, you just, uh, are your traditions very different from ours? Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. I had some questions about Haven. Ask and be on your way. How long has Haven been here? Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. So clearly, they've <laughs> the city has always been here, since your family has known no other home. Who is in charge? Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. He's in the Chantry giving a sermon. You should not disturb him. Why haven't I heard of Haven before? We keep to ourselves. We see no need to announce our presence to the world. It's more peaceful that way. Then perhaps you should return to the Lowlands. Hmm. Have you heard of the Urn of Sacred Ashes? The Urn is nothing but a legend. Brother's Genitivi's research suggests that it may be more. I do not know who Brother Genitivi is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. This is true. And you don't know if Brother Genitivi has come here? No. Why do you have a revered father? Priests are women. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Oh, right, right. I already talked about that. All right. I would like to explore Haven. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it was some sort of zoo. Very well, excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? I'm glad I'm not the only one to think so. And if anyone was going to realize that, it would be Morgan. Because she is a sharp cookie. Sharp cookie? Is that a thing? Villager's house. I'm going in. Is this a shop? This isn't where I parked my car. Heavy chainmail boots. Huzzah. I'm taking it. Oh. <laughs> I have Liliana set up to that she just goes around unlocking and disarming traps whenever she sees them. So it's kind of a bit like weird like all of a sudden the computer's like okay i'm gonna go unlock this it's like wait oh okay go ahead come come bonnie lynn tell us tell us where you've been were you up were you down chasing rabbits around the town come come bonnie lynn tell us tell us where you've been come come bonnie lynn we've a bed to put you in it is soft it is warm it will shelter from the storm come come bonnie lynn We've a bed to put you in. Dear, dear Bonnie Lynn, sleeps the peaceful crib within. A mossy stone, a finger bone. No one knows but Lynn alone. Dear, dear Bonnie Lynn, sleeps the peaceful crib within. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Not in the slightest. Little boy just standing in a deserted village square singing some strange nursery rhyme. That's the stuff that nightmares are made of. I imagine of. you have already composed a suitable ballad to commemorate yes, thank the you. events at Redcliffe, Leliana. Why would I do such a thing? You have taken up your instruments once again, have you not? So to speak, a bard takes events of great import and puts them to tail. What happened at Redcliffe was horrible. So many people died, and they were violated by unimaginable evil forces. That was not so difficult, was it? You may wish to add music, however. You make it sound as if you enjoyed what happened there. I can barely stomach to think of it. But we were successful in the end. Victory without cost has little worth. 
I just think of what that poor little boy went through. No, I don't want to glorify what happened there. Then who will learn from these events? I would think on it some more, were I you. I think Morgan has a valid point there. Just because you don't like the history doesn't mean you shouldn't tell the history, you know? You can't keep that stuff to yourself. Lest you repeat the mistakes of the past. Sermon over. And this looks like a little farm or something. Where apparently they grow everything in the same... <laughs> they grow chickens, oxes, death root in the same pen. Now, I don't... I, you know, I didn't grow up on an animal farm, but... Oh. <laughs> Hello. Never mind. I don't need to talk right now. I want to get this book. Death of a Templar. Alright, um... How do I get out of here? Where's the entrance? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I guess that, uh... That corral was more <laughs> effective than I thought. Alright, um... Uh, can I... Oh, I can go in that way, too. Alright, I'm just gonna save it real quick. Just in case. Need to find this shop. It's almost too quiet. And I'm off. Not right. I can feel it. I agree, Leliana. Something is not right. Doesn't that doesn't look evil at all? Big spiky archway. I got news for anyone who's trying to masquerade as good. Don't make your archway spiky. Huh? That's just you're just you know. You're not even hiding it at that point. You're just like, oh yeah, we're good. Oh sure. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Going. And this is that thing. And this appears to All be a right. shop. So we shall go inside. And hello, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, and even leather boots. That's for Zevran. We know Zevran really likes uh, those types of boots. And a locket. Hmm. Not that I can give that to Morrigan. Mage's Eye, Dragonthorn. Ooh, wow, look at this. 3% range crit chance and plus 4 attack. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. I don't know if that's as good as Liliana's as, as the other bow she has, but she has... She has Marjolaine's Recurve, and this is... Mage's Eye. And they're actually both the same damage. But... Her, her current one has uh, three damage, three cunning, and rapid aim. And did she already go through all those bu those arrows? Wow. That's why I don't usually use arrows, because um, you just go through them so quickly, it's almost not even worth it. Who are you? You're not from Haven. Well, no kidding, buddy. <laughs> why does everyone tell me that, I, that like I don't already know it? We, we don't get very many visitors. Can you tell me about Haven? How would you describe the place you know only as home? Well, that's a cop-out. Come on, you can tell me something. What What are you guys all about? Uh, have you seen a man called Brother Genitibi? No, I've never heard that name. This is a shop I'd like to trade. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. <laughs> I'll say thanks, you're allowing me to look at your shop. Is it a shop or not? Andraste's arrows interrupt spellcasting. Ooh, that sounds awesome. But they're really expensive. Uh, it's all crap. And that's nothing. And just some traps and some various potions of various shapes and sizes. Um, could use some more health poultices. I can't make these ones just yet. Ugh, but they're so expensive. Never mind. <laughs> can't do it. Grounding, elixir, recipe, acidic coating, acid flask, blah, blah, blah. I'll never use any of that. All right. It's back here. What are you doing? That's private. I just needed some things. Then you will trade for them, like everyone else. Okay. So he doesn't want me going back there. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so, uh, my macro that sent Leliana to go unlock that chest has now triggered a fight with the shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, crap. 
Okay, well, I guess he's willing to fight to the death over this. Thanks, Liliana. I don't know if I can take this guy. Oh, oh yeah, I, I certainly can. Well, I guess I'm killing people now. And, oh, no. Arrows of filth, thanks. And we got corpses. The armor and clothing left on his dismembered man indicate that he was once one of Eamon's knights. Oh no. So Eamon's knights came here looking for the urn of sacred ashes and these guys I killed know that look. You have something on your mind. I'm actually um, trying to go and loot the body, but what do you know of this place? Next to nothing, I'm afraid. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. Let's just move on. Okay, so shopkeeper doing that thing. Okay, moving on. Oh, and now they're all attacking me. <laughs> I guess word spreads quickly. Okay, so Shale, you go over here. Do your thing. Apparently I'm killing everyone in the village. This uh, was not something I wanted to do, but we're doing it. But they're clearly evil, so I don't feel too bad. Bunch of whack, whack jobs. They're reavers. Hmm. She's got her ice arrows out. Alright, it looks like... Oh man, it looks like we're going to have fights up and down this place. Well, if we're going to kill everyone, we might as well get busy. Shale, you can stop that. Thanks. And yeah, it looks like we're killing everyone in the village. This was not what I wanted. Okay. You guys couldn't just act right, you know? You had to get all crazy when someone walks in your back room. Wow, there's quite a few of them, actually. It doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, mage or anything like that. They're just peasants. I'm being attacked by a mob of peasants. Yeah, they, and they really don't are not ready for this. They don't even have weapons. Hey, you attack me first, buddy. Maybe you guys shouldn't put your dead bodies uh, that you don't want people to find out in the open <laughs> in a shop that people go and buy stuff in. You know? Just saying. Might not be the best thing. Morgan got a level up, actually. Should just do that real quick. And let's see. She does need more willpower, but she also needs more health because I don't want her getting killed so much. Revival. Now that is a handy spell, but um, I kind of want to get some other stuff first. I've been talking about getting mass paralysis for a long time, and we're finally going to do it. So, Oh, it's happening. Oh, yeah. All right. Anybody else want some? I mean, for crap's sake. About you, book. Yes, thank you. More XP. And I'm off. All right. Uh, village shop. Time for more practice. I'm gonna have to fight my way up this whole place. Huh. Yeah, I feel real heroic right now, <laughs> killing unarmed peasants. Cultist archers. Now these guys could actually pose a threat if I wasn't so awesome. Um, we can turn these things on. Yes. And let's get a taunt going. Oh, yeah. Overpower. Rawr. He 
needs more stamina. He does get some when things die, but uh, clearly it's not very much. Not enough to offset whatever right. it is that he's putting out. Okay. So this is the Haven Chantry. Going. Anything else to loot? Yeah. All right, well that was unexpected. Well, tune in next time and we'll enter the Chantry, the evil Chantry, and uh, find out what the heck is going on with this town. Until then.